I'm John with Platinum Tools, and many of you have already met me. Yes, I'm Papa John, the tool man. Today, I just want to take a moment to introduce our latest add-on to our standard modular plugs. Here, we have our high-performance, again, just phenomenal performance, CAT6 connector. Notice it's a three-piece system, and it's very important because in CAT6, you have to get the twist less than 3 16 from the point of termination. So what do we have here? We have the connector with a nice big back entry. And then we have a bar here. I call it the loading bar, the spacer bar. Pardon me, not the loading bar, the spacer bar. And it goes on first, and that is going to space out the right distance for the twist. And you'll see when we demo this, how that works. And then we have the wire guide bar. And that's it. I'm gonna take my cable and my Cat 5 6 stripper, cable jacket stripper. And what we wanna do is just score the cable. Notice it's still intact. And let's bend the cable where we scored it. It pops. So I don't even have to inspect the conductors. I know that well, I want to keep that here. I know that they have not been nicked. Remember, if your conductor nicks, you have to start over. So I'm going to pull these out. Notice the spline in this cable. We've got six cables. Many, many of them have a spline or a pair separator. Each pair lies within the quadrant of the spline, and that keeps air around each pair, and it keeps it isolated from the other pairs. This has to be removed down to the end of the jacket. So I'll take my scissors and I'm going to snap the little ribbing. Be careful not to cut your conductor and then twist it and it comes right off. Now is where the spacer bar comes into play. I'm going to take these two, pair one, two, pair seven, eight. Okay, that's important. They go inside these little two boxes, cubes, so to speak. So I'm going to bring this together. Those two are there, and bring my pair three six down on the middle. Bring pair four five down, and this now is ready. It's prepped, ready to go for the next step. Now what we have to do is separate the pairs. So I'm going to open up and get my jacket, I'm looking for my jacket, and just separate that pair down to that spacer bar. Okay, got these pairs separated. We got these pretty straight looking. And now what we have to do is lay it out. So we're going to lay it out Orange, white, orange, we're doing the B and the green, the blue, the blue, white, and the solid green, brown, white, and brown. So I want to bring these together. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and my scissors, not my knife, my scissors. I'm going to trim these. And this is where the wire guide goes on. And it's got a perforated side. Back side that's not perforated is flat. You don't want that facing up. You want the perforated side so the contacts can go through. And it's got the little ledge on it that you can see right here. And then what I'm doing is taking this and sliding that bar down. And you want to slide it all the way down to your spacer bar. I have my flush cutter. This is real important because it does a clean flush cut. And you need to cut these conductors right flush against the wire guide so that it works right when you slide it into the connector. So I'm going to take my flush cutter, cut some off, and this is what the prep looks like. It's all ready. And now all we have to do is put it into the connector. So let's take our connector and we're going to put it in. And that jacket sometimes hangs up, so be sure you push, push it down with your thumb like this. And then take this and start pushing in. And just go all the way. I'm going to work with my other hand. It works a little better. 
And there it is, ready to go. Now I'm going to crimp it with my Tele Titan. Again, I love this tool. Put it in, make sure it's seated. There it is. All ready to go, plug in. Cat 6, super high performance, I tell you. Phenomenal results on certification. Thanks.